Greetings y'all. Just a little heads up in this video, I ended up doing a driver update for my display driver and you know my audio is connected to it so you are going to notice that there is no in-game audio in this video and I apologize for that. Next time around we'll have that and next round is a uh, speed through episode just to show you what I got done. Greetings and welcome back. That's the start of the day, and that's a really nice start right there. A market stall is available for us, and a bear is coming at us. Well, this day is a good start to a lot that we need to do. I know that we need leather today, so the reason that we're out here is because, as I said, I thought I was going to do this off camera, but I figured, I mean, here we are, and it's already the start of the day. It's 7.30. And I figured ah, it's getting already late in the day, considering. So we'll just get our start now. And I'll roll through some of the things that are going on. So the first thing we had to do is we have to get this market stall thing taken care of. We have a few people we can take advantage of as workers in this because they have the skill set. And we also need to start selling off a number of the things we are just sitting on and not doing anything with, like, say, tools. Well, tools. Uh, the stone knives, specifically, right? Because we're just sitting on stone knives and leather, simple leather bags and things like that. And speaking of simple leather bags, obviously, we need to have more leather so we can keep making these things. Our people are doing great on getting production skill. I'm happy with that. I'm looking forward to next season when I think we get Yed go back. We'll see. She's a production four. Oh, this guy was already mad. It is a Scorcher. Oh, this is going to be a close one. Nice. All right. We'll get some porcupine up license. We'll get our license. And we'll get some porcupine up moose. And then we'll move on. Let's get Donnie over here. We're going to need him. Now, I figure we have a number of things that we can use the market stall for. And I've got a lot of different, a lot of different production stuff to go with. Oops, I should have let that thing get closer. Wouldn't have had to walk as far if I just let him drop near me. And I know... Hey, buddy. What's up? Oh, sorry for the fast pan. Let's go for this. I know we have to get some of our cooking needs met. In other words, I have just too much random stuff sitting in my bin, and I want to cook a bunch of that up. There we go. Get Don loaded up with the meat. That's not a bad spot for us to be for him. <laughs> our poor character is roasting it up. Roasting up in the summertime. Yesterday's day was a little easier on that. Today is a little trickier. Now, Skalki is our destination of choice. But we need to do a few things around the village first, and part of that is taking care of the beer, the rye grain thing. In order to be able to remember this better, because I know how I work, I left the quest up. So that way I'd have no choice but to see it. And that means I would notice it, and I would immediately be like, oh yeah, I better get that rye stuff going on. It is a scorcher. Now that is our boots. So I could probably just take off the boots and call it even here, right? Oops. Boot starts with B, my friend. There we go. Let's barefoot it up. It's a barefoot summer. Anytime you can run around in the summertime without shoes on is good. We're looking forward to summertime here. It's been on and off cold where I am. And it's been snowing on and off too, even though it's springtime. I tell you, entertaining weather. Such is the way it is. Alrighty, that's enough stuff for us for now. And I'm still roasting up. Alrighty, let's see here. We'll have to get our short sleeve tunic. That's going to solve that problem too. Look at that, two bison skulls. Nice. Don's not even slightly encumbered. Alright, let's see how bad he is for riding. Still pretty fast. Now if I, if I transfer just a little bit of stuff, we'd be even better off. Okay, with this, we're going to go and we're going to drop off our leather. Because we have enough leather at this point to help them continue the process. We're going to make some market stalls. Now, I do want to put a market stall here because I want this to be kind of like the eatery area, right? Like, that's the idea. But I don't know where to put it yet. And I do obviously have enough stuff, right? Like, I've got enough stuff to do it. So that's handy. 
We have any more farmers that are not working for their cause? Ooh, that's a lot of farmers. Oh boy. Ooh, I got a lot of farmers. I don't need that many farmers real quick here. Hmm. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of stuff here real quick because I don't want to lose track of these people. She's preggers. Hmm. And she's not going to be a worker soon. Let's toss you in the barn. And we'll let the other farmers kind of do their thing for a little while. Keep it up. Y'all keep it up. Oh, look at that. We just went from one to three. I'm guessing that sticks. All right, let's see. Of course, it's production. Why wouldn't it be? No resources. You are talking about the stone knives. You are talking about the sticks. That's an on and off problem because we are almost matched with that. We are almost nearly perfect on that one. <laughs> almost nearly, right? Which is a fancy way of saying we're not even close to right. Now, let's see here. That seems like a lot less leather than I expected to get, honestly. Interesting. Let's drop that in here. Short sleeve tunic. And why not? A straw hat and the shoes. It's time for the summertime fashion, my friends. There we are. Boom. Oh, Donnie. Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. It's going to be good to go, friend. Okay, I'll take care of that. Was that important? You know it. That was definitely important. All right, let's switch to the mount. I'm sorry, but wait. Oh, weird. I, I mean, I just did that thing, and I just saw that there was no stuff there. Hmm, wait a minute. I'm doing that silly thing that I do. Don't do it. You get to have all that stuff, buddy. No, we're not putting the wrong things in the wrong places. We are done with that. Okay. These can get out of here. All right, that's good. Drop the bars. I'll be dropping my bars here. Let's be dropping bars. And let's get the flax going on. That's the thing we need. Okay, it's time to process. What are we doing on manure? 110. We should have enough barn workers to make that happen, right? Let's check our workers. Let's check our production. One of the problems with uh, changing things up is I need to make sure I actually have things being made properly. Animal feed, I think we can decrease. Let's do that, because fertilizer is the key here. We'll need that for our next level. Hmm. Now, the other thing to consider is it's time to consider how much stuff I need for building. Ooh, that's good. Got enough logs to make this happen. Alrighty, Don, you're about to get overloaded. But that's your job, man. It's your job. We work this donkey hard, but this donkey works hard. This donkey is all we need. Logs, we're going to need a number of you. Hope that that's enough. I think we'll be good. Let's start with 24. And then go up to 32 because we need planks. 74 planks is pretty darn good. Alright, good. Now, we're going to make some planks here. You get out the way, my friend. I'm going to need that. Oh, yeah, you know it. Training for days. Training forever, I tell you what. Got to have that beer, though. Only way to be a successful mule is you drink the rye beer. Hmm, speaking of rye, I see a small, small concern that's about to happen. A very small issue about to happen here, which is that if I don't remember the rye right now... Hmm, interesting. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. There was a... We have some really big winds going on by us, so... <laughs> some very large sounds going on a moment ago there. Alrighty, let's take the rye now. Since, obviously... I don't want to forget that. Cool. Now, next step. I do want to make this resource storage better. We will upgrade it. Right now, we don't have to just yet. We should be okay for a little while. Mm -hmm. We'll head over here. Now, one of the things I do want to build here is a market stall. We can definitely have a market stall right here. It just makes sense. I will make a market's quarter at some point. Like, that's what I really want to see happen. 
There we are. And then we can build up the leather part of that. <laughs> the forge, may the forge be with you as well, ma'am. Alrighty, and then we'll build another one right here, just for simplicity's sake. That being the case, we can now jump in here. And from here, oh, my bad. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, right, I need to go to the... Mm, one of those things, I'll tell you what. I need to go back here, and I need to be sure that I process the flax. That's the thing I didn't do yet. Okay, let's process that flax. Be whooping this stuff. Hold up, I need to whoop stuff. Work out some aggression. Donnie. Where's my Don? Look at you, donkey. Look at you go. Hmm. All right, well. Hmm, can't seem to carry everything. That's a problem. That's a slight problem, but apparently I threw the knives in my inventory. Dang, what am I doing? Fix up those roach. We'll fix up those fish. All right, let's get back up here. And now she's back to working out her aggressions. All right, no, no, I got to work out my aggressions, ma'am. This is the thing. Oh, yeah, I try not to. Some of them have bad breath. All righty, on to the Don. Okay, now we can go back to this spot and make this happen. They're doing great work here. I do need more trees. I did have a whole plan for a tree area over there, a decorative area. I would like to do that. But I do want to make sure we get our plan on here. Uh-oh, and she's stuck. Luckily, she doesn't have to be at the... Oh, dear. Um... I've always wanted to see inside your mind. This is not how I envisioned seeing inside your mind. But this isn't your mind. I'm seeing inside your bowels. This is awkward. Well, you've been working at this workstation too long. You're like, you're like fabric in and out. Uh-oh. Alrighty, let's make a ton of fabric. I don't know why I'll keep too much thread, honestly. This is the thing we need. We need tons of fabric. Now let's see here, we'll do these stalls. We're gonna need a number of these workers because they make us passive coin, which is nice, you know. This will be us sitting on free cash, which is okay by me. Boom. Okay, let's make this thing happen. Services wise, we have a market stall, market stall number one. We need to change the type. Hmm, I think it's considered tools if I remember right. Simple bags, there it is. Hmm, let's see here, I guess I don't know how much it's gonna produce, so I should probably not get too wild. Stone knife, there we go. We'll sell a bunch of those, we should be able to do that well. Now, who's gonna do this? Who's got Diplo and not a lot of elsewhere? <laughs> yeah, she's good, holy cow. Okay, now let's see here. The key here is to find somebody who's got a good skill set who I don't need to use where they're at. And I'm pretty sure I had this person, I believe, was kind of like my why bother. Right, I have a lot of hunters, and that's it. I've got my threes here. And I could go to Skalky and see what I find as well. You are going to stay at farming, that's for sure, and there's no way I'm moving you. Fisher, I could see moving a Fisher, but... Animal breeder, hmm. Not doing the best at the animal breeding, but has a good skill set in it. I think that you're probably the go right here. No, the hunter, wasn't it? But he's got, yeah, I mean, why not? And he's young. Let's go for him. Okay, 24 per day and 69 per day. Okay. And that's 172 cash each, even split. We'll just go with them. Looks like the other market stall will be the exact same thing. All right. Boom. Now, we'll change the type to a tool stall again. And we'll also get our, our bags up to 50. And we'll get our stone knives up to 50. And then it might be time for us to start doing some real 
producing of other things that are worth money. I kind of wonder about the buckets. Maybe we can sell some of those as well. All right, so I'm clicking up here to get the listing higher. I kind of like that. I wonder about this gentleman. I'd like to see his skill set. Because I wonder if he's the guy I just took on who I knew was a temporary spot farmer. That's not the guy. All right, well, then let's check out here because we can actually interact with this better. All right. This person is our fisher person. They're doing great. They're working well. Animal breeder, definitely making progress. Extractor, making progress. Water carrier, mm, don't want to lose that. Farmer at level two. How did I miss that? Oh, and then this is the guy who actually shouldn't be here. Yeah, check this out. Now, this was a better menu to go to. Okay. So you, I need you actually to be here. And then you, you're in the wrong place. That's for sure. You're the right one for the job. That's right. Now I gotta find my other guy. Because I took him out of the wrong job. He is actually supposed to stay a hunter. Yeah, I'll bet you if I look at his skill set, I'll find out that, yeah, he's already progressed a bit. Go figure. Okay, so for the hunting lodge, let's double check and make sure we've been doing that right. Since I'm not sure I've looked at this in a while. Salted meat and leather. I'm hoping that the salted meat is actually giving us higher instances since it makes it 10 per. I think the feathers is probably the right way to go, though, because it does so many instances. Uh, but leather is what we actually need. But I want their skills up. That's the key, right? Let's see here. Let's give it a go. Let's see how things go if I drop that down a bit and see if we get better production value out of this. Oops, my fault. I clicked on the wrong fast button. There we go. 72. Okay. Nice. All right, that's good. Next step, we need Don again, that's for sure. We can sell seeds as well, that's going to be a handy thing to do. When we sell the seeds off, that'll be just a nice little, good little source of income, right? Good little extra source of income. I wouldn't mind doing the decorations here shortly, but first things first. It's time to max out the limestone we can pull. Yeah, it's going to be rye beer time. And he's got my rye beer. I'm pretty sure of it. I put all my beer on Don. Uh oh. So much of a scorcher. Everybody's getting roasted. Let's see here. I can't be having you carrying all this stuff, Donnie. And that's a problem. Let's do some things. Alright, we gotta take care of some business. That's for sure. We'll drink the beer. We'll grab the stone, and then we'll head out. 30 more kilograms turns out to be a great. All right, and then with Don, let's see here, what can I do? I can get rid of the logs, that's for sure. And the roach we can cook when we get up there, and the knives we shouldn't be carrying anyway. Let's overload Don. And... Let's get these logs out of here and get these limestones going. Oop, cat says hi. Indeed. All right, here we go. Now we're on. I would like to get the production back up for our people. I'm a little concerned about the amount of sticks and stones we're not having, so that'll be a thing to fix up. The balance is not quite there. Let's check again, check again, check again. Yep, it's all about the sticks. Okay, so we're still playing with the balance here, right? Looks like we're going to be going almost all in on, on sticks here, which honestly is really good for their levels. It's not really good for a guy who wants to build around the village, but I think at this point, honestly, I shouldn't be worried about building. I think I have enough buildings, right? So at this point, we should focus very heavily on just get the sticks. I can do a quick gather of sticks as well at some point and really ramp that up. 
Let's see here, Don's too overloaded to carry me, which is why we aren't, uh, which is exactly why we're not bringing him with. Right, and then this adding of insulation is going to be really handy for our peoples. This should add us some build tech too. Aw, they're in there having fun. That's a good one. All right, Donnie, get on up here and let's get this going. So all this limestone, all this time that we've spent gathering up limestone and buying it casually over time has paid off finally, because now here we are actually using the stuff, right? It is unbearable. Luckily, I took out that bear before. It, now there's less bear over there. All right, then we'll get you back over to our food stall. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. I'm not confident about that house's placement, so we can't do that. And then we can get this going on. Now, one of the problems with doing the installation now, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to regret this in a slight way, which is that at some point I'm going to want to do the um, upgrade, you know, how you, um, I'm going to want to do that trick where you put the lamps inside of the houses. So I'm probably going to end up having to tear down a bunch of these anyway in the future, but that's a problem for the future, you know? And luckily, my future self is not going to care. Right? Okay, you see a lot of stuff piled over here. Now, the reason for the pile is that I'm going to make a ton of things. We are going to make a lot of pottage, that is for sure. Not fish, that's what I'm forgetting. Now let us, let us roast the fish. Come with me and let us roast the fish. Okay, we'll take care of the fish needs here. And of course, roach is really small gains. We'll feed our character because he never gets to eat, poor guy. And of course, I could sell this fish, but this will be okay. Now those copper knives that I'm sitting on, I need to drop those back off. But I think today, I think what we need to do now is we need to get a move on. I'm curious where the tech went. Let's check this. Ah, oh, 4,425. That's pretty good. We went up a good deal here in building tech, and I think that that's the aim for today. Survival tech is rising, which is nice. And this is going up well. Here's production. I need more people, so it's Skelky time. Now, on the way to Skelky. Pardon me for a quick bit. I'll do a little fast forward. I'm just going to gather up a bunch of sticks because it's just there's just not enough getting caught up here. And welcome back. I needed to gather up some stones and some ore from our mine since it turned out that it wasn't just the sticks. It was sticks and stones. So I did a bunch of gathering there so I could get our, our guys caught up and the girls, our crew, caught up on things. So at this point, we're going to rush it to Skelky, and we're going to figure out what we can do to finish that quest. And we have all the rye grain, as you can see. We have everything we need for the rye grain plus. So we'll bring that there. We'll take care of this quest, have it turned in, and check for more peoples, <laughs> since we do have some more room for people in our village. At some point, I'm going to, I'm going to rework some of the buildings in the village because um, I want to make it look a little more interesting. Right now I just have them packed together just so I can maximize their productivity. In the future, I'll be moving them up into a little more spaced out area. I want them to actually have yards and space to live rather than just kind of be cramped together as uh, as the peasant servants that they are. No, I'm not going to be that kind of king. We're going to be a good king. That's for sure. All right, now, boom. Oh, Don. All right. Let's get in here and see what we got. I could use... I mean, I could always use farmers, but I'll be real with you. I don't actually need farmers. Hmm. Oh, man, what is with the fading of the skill um, item? Okay, so she's good at basically everything. I'd hate to pass up on you. I would hate to pass up on a person who's basically good at everything. And that's the last woman I can hire. Alrighty, that being the case, 
Let's see if we're too picky for this guy. Mm, not doing it. Nope, that's me. I never dress for the weather. I dress for perhaps it'll be cold. Maybe it'll be a cold summer, y'all. I don't know. Alrighty, now let's go and let's wrap up this quest. And apparently, we'll see what this new quest is here. You there, what's up? What, what's going on, man? You usually handle everything on your own. Okay, well, you want to try something different. Um, hmm. All right, well, what's going on? You see, you hooked on the idea of trying carpentry. Oh, you're a miner. What's with the change? Mm-hmm, so you liked it. Okay. Well, I can see that you're really motivated. I can help you change your job. Oh, okay, you still do you want to be a miner, but afterwards. Uh, okay, you get it. Hmm, interesting. What's this guy need? Ten logs and seven planks. <laughs> Usually I've overloaded myself with those particular things, so that's entertaining. This time I don't actually happen to have it. All right, let's head up here and get a wiggle on this. Probably could use more sticks while we're out. Oh my goodness, so many sticks. One of the things I really want to do is I want to get more extractors going on. I did rotate our workers out since at this point in time... Uh-oh, where's our guy? There's our guy. Okay, one has washes the other. Part of a team, yeah, but I need a status report. Hmm, never seen a real action. Oh, so you are our veteran. You do have a lot of experience. Even where you can end up with this mission, it's going to be the last. Okay. Oh, interesting. I don't really want the king to win, to get to, to get killed, because, like, he's one of the decent named kings. Hmm. Not really a priest to criticize. Eh, it's not like he's here. Plan's fine. Okay. Well, then why don't you go to yourself? They're the problem. Oh, yeah, there you go. Real good one, though. Okay. Um, I'm quite thorough with this. I can make you one. Oh. <laughs> Swamp Man. Yep, I know that guy. All right. Dig it. All right, man. <laughs> I gotta go back to Swamp Thing. I do enjoy the Swamp Guy. He's a hoot. All right. So this guy over here needs planks and logs, which I could easily get from my village in an instant. And since it's a quest that kind of just continues on through the seasons where you don't have to prioritize it, we'll come back and do that later. Speaking of prioritizing, hmm, I think it wouldn't be bad if I could just do the mining while I'm here, but I know what we're up to right now, and that's that we're finishing this quest before the end of the day. That's the goal. I do have a night vision potion, your gold. Alrighty, I'm gonna need me a ride, friend. I kind of want to go to Kalanika first to see what we got for hires. Let's do that pit stop real quick. All right, now I do know that there's a worker here. I don't think he's going to happen to have logs, though. I think he counts as only making products. Let's see. Ooh, um, yeah. That's great. How are things going? Okay. I wish you both well. Very well. My bad. Wrong guy. But we did, you know, work that through, and I'm glad he's become a decent father. It's interesting that that turned around so well. Nope, he's just the process of the good. Of course it was. It's always nice to see you as well, sir. Hmm. Not a lot of stuff to sell. And I could use just one more night vision potion to make sure that I'm actually on track. There we are. You know it. You, everyone always has the best. I love it. Alrighty, this, I mean, what's the, it's what the Oxbow is, right? Let's be real. Everything's the best in the Oxbow. It is, and you're going to make it, dude. This person's got skills. Not the skills I need, and he's the only man. Uh-huh, hi. Uh-huh, yep, yeah, uh-huh. You want to you wanna work in a village full of random people? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay. Rajaneer does not need a job just yet, because it's the end of the workday. He will get upset with me, though. Hmm. Let's see here, what should we do as a holding pattern for this gentleman? Not diplomacy, of course. Production. Nice. That's a good one. Survival, hunting, production. Hmm. I don't have anything going on in the smithing. I don't want him to walk an entire village away. <laughs> it's a placeholder. He's a cook as a placeholder, that's all it is. 
All right, we'll head back over this way. And then, hmm, you know, interestingly enough, interestingly enough, I am actually closer to our swamp guy right now than I would be if I fast travel a piece of Lovia. So this is actually okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's all right, it's all right. We will go to Swamp Man and make a poison. Poison powerful enough to take out a king. Now, we'll see how that goes for us though. It's always entertaining interacting with the Swamp Guy. I do appreciate the entertaining characters in this area. I do love that they added so much to it because there's a little more depth, right? Like now we have this Swamp Guy who is just, you know, we don't fully know his story yet. We don't know exactly what the story is with Elric, but we do know that he's quite an entertaining, crazy man who talks to stones and who can make the best poisons in the world. Has a drinking problem, clearly. Or, I mean, I don't think he'd call it. Oh, crash. Oh. Donkey down. Keen down. All right, fine. I think that is a sign we're supposed to walk the rest of the way. <laughs> oh, y'all, we got stumped. We got stumped. Pop ourselves a potion here. You better not be asleep yet, dude. Okay, good. Oh, I gotta get some potion. So, great, how much? No, um... Oh... Sorry, I'm not that kind of person. Not like that. Oh, you, uh, drink this. What is this? All right, why don't you drink yourself? I'm gonna fake it. I don't know. No, I'm not... Uh, yep, yeah. uh-huh, yep. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna not, I'm gonna not drink the potion, right? Like, that seems the go right here. Hmm, here we are out in the middle of a great place to go hunting. Right? I mean, the Vice Scent are out here. I'm very tempted to just go hunt them real quick, just so we have the leather. Moose are there, I can get about 20 for each of them. But the Vice Scent, Vice Scent are the thing. Hmm. I mean, I'd hate to waste this perfectly good opportunity. All right, and they've already seen me, so it's obviously time. It would, it's on. Oops, now I managed to spook the other one. That was not the right move. Oops. Serpentine. And, oops, that's going to hurt me. All right, let's see here. That was close, right? Right in the rumpus. Oh, man, I'm doing bad here. There we go. All right, we'll get an arrow back. Uh oh, here we go. Our friendly neighborhood Vicent is on the way to deliver a Goring. We'll dodge out of the way. Oops, that was a little closer than I'd like it to be. There we go. But that's a good shot, so we'll take it. Apparently we'll take a stick. Why not? And here's all the arrows that just didn't stick. Oops. And of course we're out of stamina. That's okay. Tis. Sir, you are roasting up here, man. Every day in the summer. Alright. Onward. Wow, that's a lot of arrows. That is so many arrows. Oh my goodness. Alright, well... Two more Vicent later. We are doing better on leather. Mm hmm All right, 30 leather for the first. Oh, nice shot. Like that. And a bunch of arrows over here. <laughs> nice. All right. Now, we'll go to Wilhelm. We'll give him the deadliest of poisons. I'm kind of curious if that poison, that poison actually turns out to not be any good. If that's coincidentally what happens there. I don't know. But... I'm not willing to chance it. Swamp Guy, I could easily just have died drinking that po poison from him. I'm curious, did anybody else, did any of y'all actually drink the poison? Since I'm recording, I don't, um, I don't allow myself to save in the middle of recording, so I figure I don't want to do that. I don't want to sit here and try the poison out on camera and be like, oh, so I'm dead. Now we got to redo all that progress. I'm curious, what happens? What happens if you drink that poison? All righty, onward, here we go. 60 leather is good and should get our workers through enough of the work time that we can get more bags made for our sellers to sell and i'm curious what kind of good production we can get out of that 
not production, sorry, good coin out of that. And I'm hoping that it's really gonna raise our skill up a bit too. Alrighty, we'll deliver this poison. We're going to the fast travel, obviously, so that's the, that's the go right now. And the other thing I can do on the way is I can stop by my resource storage. And while at the resource storage, it's gonna be pretty handy for us to drop off some things. Actually, I think we can do a couple of things here. We'll go to resource storage. We'll be able to do a couple major things here. Number one, drop off the resources we just picked up. So that means the leather. I can also drop off the meat. The meat is is going to go the correct place, right? Like that's. I mean, yes, we're gonna we're gonna drop off meat here. Done. Then let's jump into here. And let's do the law, the leather here. Leathers and the standard rye can go in. Uh, that can go too. But then, I'll tell you what. Ten logs, seven planks. Let's just be done with it. Ten logs, seven planks. Ooh. Hmm. Doesn't look like that's going to be a thing I can do. Hmm. That's unfortunate, and I don't actually have the means to produce it here. Well, lucky for us, that's not a thing I need to care about this season. All right, so without a way to produce planks, we're just gonna have to give up on that particular quest idea. All right, let's go turn in our rye so that we don't have to do this in the future. And from there, then it's time to warp. Time to warp to Skalky. Actually, let's see here. We should probably do Skalky first. Because here we are. And reason for going Skalky first is that I'm going to have to go into town anyway to confront the, uh, the leader, right? So that's a thing we have to do. Alrighty, the deadliest of poisons. Yes, indeed. Too bad there's not a woodworking table around here. That would have been super handy. Look at these people building right next to the, the straw. They knew what they were doing. They were ready for thatch roof cottages. Alrighty. That was a dong of the bell from the grandfather clock. Onward we go. Alright, trouble. Uh, just being around a lunatic is trouble enough. The sweet fellow is a true delight. Hmm. What are we doing now? No time to waste. If you want to save them from getting themselves, you need to get killed. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> that poor schmuck. I hope he's not successful. Man, if that guy turns out to be successful and he takes out the king, I'm going to totally regret this. Because then I'm going to end up with who knows what kind of king. And I don't want to end up with some crazy, awful king. I mean, you got the lion, right? Like, we have a decent king right now. Egon the first, the lion. I'm a fan of him. Whoa. Awkward moments. Okay. From here, what time is it? 23. I'll come back and do the mining. We'll talk to Odkur, and we'll turn in our quests, and then I'll wrap it up for the day here. We're going back to Pistolovia, my friend. We're just dropping coin left and right. Ooh, donkey butt. Oh, I should have had the axe out. I might have been able to axe it. All right, Otker is on the way here. And let's see what we can do about dismantling his little plan. Hi there, buddy. It's over. The rebellion is done. There's no left to aid to your mission. Your father asked me to help you out for good reason. Ooh, you mad, man. You mad. There you go. Uh-huh. Yep, what are you going to do? Uh-huh. Yep, getting mad. Okay. It's not the king. Alright, there you go. So, alright, there you look at you. You are starting to see the light. I'll go with you just in case. Now, where do we have to go to this guy's house? Hopefully he actually lives in this town. He goes all the way to Skelky. Oh, man. Oh man, I hope I don't have to follow this guy all the way to Skelki. Alrighty, you go that way, I'm going this way. 
There you go, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. So, uh... Hmm. Oh dear. All right. Well, um, obviously, I don't want to make you watch this whole process happen. So I'll escort him to the house, and I'll see you on the other side of this. All right. Here we are. Whew, good thing I bought the extra night vision potion. I'll tell you what. All righty. Hmm. Ooh. -oh, too much of a. Uh oh. He's getting mad. You never listen. He says. Oh man. Uh oh. What about you? When was the last time? Mr. Important Village Leader actually took advice from him in the, into account. Ooh, too stubborn to see what wrong is. Oh my, uh-oh. Lots of drama going on here. There you go. Maybe this will help a bit. Ooh, that looks really rough. We'll stand back a little ways. There we go. Ignoring your own brother if he doesn't exist. Say anything about how you treat your own wife. Uh-oh. That's where we differ. I didn't just go get a new family after. Oh, I see. Uh-oh. So this, man, a classic story about a bad, or a father not being there for a son and a son not being valued. Man, it's a challenging place to be. Of course, trying to take out the king is a little bit big on that. Bad luck trick. So, see if she would work to death. How she respect those kept prisoner for years. She was defending them. Ooh, radicaness. Ooh, we're nothing like them. Nothing at all. Oh. So this is really looking into the piece. So we, in our area, got invaded, eh? Hmm. And it would all end up differently if you are the ones to win. There wouldn't be a penal colony. And who knows, my character is probably a part of that, right? Prisons, um, prisoner of war. Exactly. Finally remember it, and because you wouldn't take prisoners, you didn't put your shot. You know, you clubbed them. Ooh, that was our way, our heritage. And we had orders to kill every one of them. Ugh. That's pretty gruesome. All right, well, he's got some some past trauma he's working through, too. Hmm. We'll see how they flesh this out. And he never told me that. You're surprised? I got told my baby boy that he comes from a line of barbaric savages, or maybe you wanted me to sing lullabies about you. Kept it all inside for you. Oh, man. Tricky stuff. Father. Son. Nope, nope. He never wanted you to know she wanted you to she didn't want you to feel ashamed of who you are like we did we had to bust ourselves for decades to change the way that people look at us Ain't twice the effort hmm so they were conquered people we're talking about way back so they'd be coming to be part of the kingdom i'm guessing i didn't know father i didn't know you weren't supposed to know we tried to keep you safe from it but instead you pushed away and now he's got to live with the burden I'm here now, Dad. Oh, there we go. Tender moment. Wait for next season. Okay. Whew, it got bright out. That means it must be 2 in the morning, almost 3 in the morning. Alrighty, y'all. Thanks for joining me today on this video, and thanks for being a part of this. And from here, I'm going to go mine and then head on back to the village. So I'll see you on the other side of the... Well, actually, I won't see you on the other side. Fast forward. I'll see you in the next video. Take care until then.